Jello Beats, holla at me. Uh, I'm sorry for the wait, nigga. I'm aiming at your beats by Dr. Dre, nigga. I put up some ornaments today, nigga. Swound here every day, I holiday, nigga. Yo, baby, yo, baby, yo. What's good, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Master Valor, and I am your host. On today's episode, we're going to cover some tips on how to never die again in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I hope you enjoyed that opening song by Lil Wayne. It's a straight banger, and I felt the need to share it with the world. As I finish cutting up these kids, we will hop right into our main gameplay on Hovik Sawmill. Basically, what we want to do is we want to make everything as simple as possible. Like, I cover your back, you cover my back. It's not normally like back to back, but that's how we want to break it down especially when you're playing with random people half of them don't have mics half of them do have mics so one thing that's important is to make things simple so i tell my team hey guys i got middle as you can see hovik saw middle there's pretty much like three routes there's the left the middle and the right on the right hand side has b so i'm covering the middle for the majority of the time if i see my team fall on the right hand side now i'm going to rotate to the right right over here I'm gonna drop him and I'm gonna go right back to my position in the middle as well why because I don't want them to come up middle and flank my entire team a big key to staying alive is not allowing your flank to be exposed one of the most underrated medals commendations that you get at the end of the game is called six cents six cents is a commendation that's awarded to you if you're not killed in the back at all no deaths from behind this commendation is a very good indicator of your map awareness, your map knowledge, and your spawn knowledge. These three areas are going to be huge to minimize your deaths and maximize your kills. As you can see, today I am using hardline. This makes my kill streaks cost one less kill and kill chain. This allows my kill streaks to stack. So I got one kill with my cluster strike it counted towards my VTOL and then my VTOL kills counted towards my chopper gunner this allowed me to get my chopper gunner very fast in the game we're not even at 50 points and I already have a chopper gunner in the air the enemy team's kind of like oh shit what's going on right now utilizing big heavy kill streaks such as the VTOL jet white phosphorus chopper gunner and the gunship are going to be pivotal in our journey to giving the illusion that we never die devour what do you mean illusion well, Timmy, it's simple math. The aforementioned killstreaks earn you a lot of kills, making whatever deaths you do have look very minuscule. If you go for 9 kills and 9 deaths, that's not very impressive at all. But if you go for 70 kills and 9 deaths, that's an awesome KD ratio, and I'm willing to bet that you led your team to victory. An important tip when using a chopper gunner, you always want to position your chopper right above the enemy so you can minimize the amount of time your bullets need to travel across the map and you maximize your amount of killing pretty much. And that way, as soon as they spawn in, as if you're holding on the trigger, you're putting damage on the enemy right away. Even if it might not kill them because they have a little bit of spawn protection, there's a really good chance that your team will end up finishing your kill so you'll get a good assist for it and you've helped the team get closer to victory. I'm gonna take a real small break from talking so we can fully appreciate this Kobe grenade, guys. Watch this frag. I'm gonna throw it over the building to get him off B. Three, two, one. Oh! Let's go! <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I crack up every time I see that funeral meme. Right I think I spent maybe like two hours watching those Boy, funeral memes on me, YouTube. Bitch. If you have not, definitely type okay, that shit in. Me. It's hilarious. It's totally worth your time. Think you could call out, call out. Now what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to rinse, wash, and repeat. We want to get back to our so chopper rich. gunner as many times as possible before time runs out or the game is finished and we win. Um, things to be aware of that... If the enemy is dogging you there, while you have on kill chain and hardline, like meaning they're killing you with explosives because you don't have on EOD, or they're killing you with UAVs because you don't have on Ghost, the perks change, guys. The plan changes all the time. Not every game is going to be a perfect game where you're dropping 60, 70 kills every time. So if you need to adapt, make sure you adapt. Go back to EOD and Ghost. Still keep the same mindset, though. We still want to get back to our chopper gunner as fast as possible.
Copy. I got a veto, I got a veto on B. Alright, get on B, I got a chopper gunner. Let's go. Rack him up, rack him up. They all have on cold blooded. Sorry, I don't really know. I'm just kind of firing, to be honest. I was just, I was literally just firing at spawns. That's all. Another big tip that I do have for us on staying alive and racking up a lot of kills is almost on every map, there's a route that you can take in and out of the enemy spawn. That way, it doesn't flip them or it spawns them out one time and then one of your teammates gets a kill and then they spawn back there again hopefully so as you can see i just went through this area i'm going to check back through it again basically i'm going to do another lap i was out of my mp5 pick up that renetti real fast i still got that guy's damascus m4 feeling this gun and we're going to go through this route again they spawn right there and they spawn inside this little shack area as well pick up that ammo as you can see, all I did was just, I just did one loop right there. And that one loop got me another two kills. Okay, so we died. We're gonna head back in there again. That kid just got fucking mapped by an MP5, bro. Damn. Alright. Making them leave? That's always a good sign. If you're making the enemy leave, it's always a good sign, guys. Take pride in that. We're gonna hit our route again. Boom. Got him. As this game is finishing up, guys, we did end up going for 61 kills, 5 captures, 9 deaths, and 7 defense. I am using the CDL MP5. Uh, if you don't know what that is or if you're new to the channel, I will put that up at the end of the video and kind of explain what exactly is in the class. And we're going to go ahead and put the class setup on the screen right now as well, guys. So we do have kill chain, hardline, tune up, frag grenade with a stim shot. I use the Renetti as my secondary. I don't really use it that often though. And I have the MP5 CDL setup on it. We'll hop right into that CDL setup now. On our MP5, we do have the Merc 4 grip, the 10 millimeter 30 round mag, stippled grip tape, sleight of hand, and the FTAC collapsible stock. This is going to be what pro players choose majority of the time. So you might see it in my videos a lot. I do apologize if it's a bit repetitive. My streaks, I did have the cluster strike, the VTOL jet and the chopper gunner today and kill chain was just super pivotal lastly guys if you guys did enjoy the content today please make sure you smash that like comment and subscribe button comment some questions for me down below i do answer all the comments ggs guys